install MIDI Designer from the App Store, download my layout file from the MIDI Designer website, load the file into the app, then save your layout. You can use the first two pages without an app subscription or purchase that covers the main controls, just with a limited color palette. You can change the MIDI channel easily by going into design mode, double tapping the tab, going to the control section, click on renumber controls channel and CC. Pick the channel you want to change it to, and then select channel only, and that will change it for that tab. Once you've done that, just repeat it for the other tabs you wish to change. Then save your layout. You can save presets into the layout, which is really handy as it gives you a visual reference for how controls are set. To do so, set the controls, pick a memory slot, tap store, give it a name, hit store, and that preset will be saved. So if I jump to what I've saved as a default setting and click recall and jump back, you'll see that preset is loaded. When you're done, make sure you save your layout. If you want to see or edit what's connected to this preset saving system, you can do so by going into design mode double tapping here on the box, going to the Relationships tab, Subcontrols, and here you'll find a list. If I tap Size, for example, you'll see the control jumps up and down to show it's connected. If I click Edit, I can remove and reorder. And say I wanted to add something new. For example, I haven't added Dry Kill or Trails. You hold down on Drag to Subcontrol, move that over the control you want to add, and you'll see it added there. And then once you're done, you just need to save your layout. To save a preset to the pedal, go to the Extras tab, and here you'll see a value selector. If I scroll through, you'll see in the log nothing's being sent. But now I want to save it to slot one. As soon as I hit Save Preset, you'll see the lights light up on the pedal and the CC value being sent. So let's do that now. And that preset is saved. You can also recall them here by picking the slot, hitting send program message, and there we go. This layout can also work on an iPhone. Navigation is a little different. If you tap the top right, you'll be able to scroll across two different pages, zoom in and zoom out. Tap it again, you get back your control. To change the pages, you use the arrows, and the hand there will tell you which side of the page the, arrow, the arrows will change on. So I'm on the left-hand side at the moment, scrolling through the pages. If I want to try the right-hand side to go across, I can change the pages that way. Design mode can be accessed here. And if I zoom out, you'll see both pages. Let me jump to the main controls. There we go. If for any reason a new or existing control is not behaving correctly and you want to check what's going on, you can do that by going into the log in the main menu, tapping a control, 
and there you'll see the CC or program message that's being sent out.